Good morning, folks. Today we have fewer topics, more focus. Starting with a 5.1 quake that hit on the Caribbean plate, one of the biggest since the Haiti catastrophe. It's on the northeast corner, not far from the northern Puerto Rican coast. Remember, I consider a landslide here to be a bigger east coast tsunami threat than El Hierro across the ocean. Another hot one in America yesterday. Wisconsin and Minnesota temporarily forgot how far north they are. The center of the country has two or three more days of cooking. So what's all the fuss about this active region? She's over 100,000 kilometers across, magnetically unstable, and creating space weather all over the board. Let's start by taking a look at the total electron content. I'm showing it because this is not what we normally look like, and it could be from this other abnormality, a dozen M flares or so in just a few days. It's important to note, I'm not showing this because of how high the electron count is, I'm showing it because it appears that we've been on quite a little roller coaster here in our upper atmosphere. I'll go back in time a few days so you can see what it is supposed to look like. Let's even go back and check a few years ago. Normal. Coming over here, the bigger circles at the end of the chart are a surplus of cosmic rays potentially signaling uh, imminent CME impacts. You might have had a glancing blow or two already you can see here, but the bigger ones are just merely on their way. This frame shows less than half of the potential ejecta coming at Earth, and so with so many it's tough to tell which ones are hitting, when, or when we can predict those impacts. Suffice to say, we are just in the line of fire. The active region of concern, probably the last real day of worry for her. If you remember from yesterday, we got blue and red, both polarities mixed close together within one penumbra, the orange thing around the black sunspot, as a delta spot, and that is where our big flares come from. Near the bottom, you have a tiny, thin, dark, writhing plasma filament, which does pose an eruption threat, a small, dark coronal hole behind her that could set a strong solar wind stream this weekend. If you look on the left side, known as the sun's eastern limb, you see bright active regions turning over the corner and towards Earth. Many of you saw the face in the sun yesterday as I described the sleepless malice accompanying these bright active regions. Remember this is stereo B with the Earth off to the right and it always shows what's coming at us. That's it coming over the limb right now. You can't fully see the magnetics yet, but it's safe to say we may get a day at most without a solar watch here. It's coming. Sky watchers, I've sat silent for a while, but that's because the planets haven't been doing much. Jupiter and Venus still retreating further from the sun, each sunrise and its sunset. Mars, Saturn and Spica, and Arcturus up top create a beautiful evening triangle. Things upcoming to break that planetary monotony, but we'll save that for another day. Right now, we got CMEs and solar flares to worry about. That's the news, folks. Be safe.